Welcome fellow modelers to my well latest video I hesitate to call it my latest modeling project this is a 65 GTO I started this AMT project. the re reason I don't really want to call it my latest project is because I started this back in October of last year it's now July um, this particular model has been through a couple of iterations what happened was, uh, first of all, this, as you know, these you can make is either convertible or hardtop. And the hardtop is a separate casting and you have to glue it in place. I spent many hours filling, sanding, sanding, filling to get that pretty clean. It's not perfect, but it's pretty clean. And likewise, along the top by the, above the um, windshield. So you have to meld, you have to sand this a lot, fill it a lot. You have to sand the back and fill it a lot. Sand and fill and sand and fill. Uh, so I spent many hours sanding and filling. Then I wanted to make it gold. I don't know why. I'm not really a fan of gold color paint cars, but that's what I wanted to do this as. Um, I, my favorite color is blue. I paint a lot of things blue. So I, I'm trying to move away from blue as much as possible uh, without going to I don't know I, I'm not a fan of black I'm not that much of a fan of red either although nothing against it so um, there it is I painted it uh, gold once with testers uh, bottle you know quarter ounce bottle and I really 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 didn't like the way it looked it looked like uh, some kind of a cartoon gold color so I stripped it down and um, put it away I just put it away for months I just couldn't think of a way to get around that problem and then a few months ago a couple months ago I was doing a Mack truck model and um, the engine in that was gold it's supposed to be gold and um, I thought well Let's see, because I had seen one painted by somebody online um, in tan. And that really didn't look like the real thing. So I gave it some thought and said, wait a minute, why don't I take a little bit of tan, a little bit of gold, mix them together. And you won't get something that looks like some kind of a cartoon gold finger thing. So I... About a month ago, well, probably not a month ago, a few weeks ago, I painted this uh, about 50-50 gold and tan, which is what this is. I painted it once, and um, I had some spots and some problems with the paint finish. So I didn't strip it. I just put another coat on. And unfortunately, I have a hair right here on the trunk lid. It's in the clear, clear finish, not in the gold. Uh, so, maybe I can buff that out. So here it is. Uh, painted it like last week. Uh, it's had plenty of time to dry. Put some uh, testers gloss coat over it. One of the problems I had the last time was when I put this gold tan mix on. I didn't put a clear finish on and I tried to buff it. And um, the rubbing compound went right through the paint. So, um, that and I got the spots. I said, okay, I'm going to start over again. This time I'm going to put clear finish on. And um, I don't really reluctant to do any buffing on this. Even with the clear finish. I'm going to have to do a little bit something. There's some spots on the roof. And that hair on the trunk. I also had one orange peel spot right there. So it goes. At this point, I am, let's see, I'm on step 13 on the instruction sheet. I have the um, chassis and 
engine assembled. I had some issues with this one. This was a, a an eBay purchase and the seller claimed that everything was there and it, that was in sealed bags, etc, etc. And when it arrived, I did a quick check, I always do, and first of all, the bags weren't sealed. And secondly, then I went through and I did an inventory of all the parts and discovered that the engine block, the valve covers, etc, etc, basically uh, the interior is all ready. I painted it gold. Don't know if you can see, I put um, flocking in for the carpets. This worked much, much better this time. I've had mixed re results with flocking. Um, usually not very good. This time, what I did was I used clear glue. Uh, it's This was Staples clear cement. You know, like it's supposed to be like Elmer's glue, only clear. And um, I put that down nice and thick, and then I just let the flocking dry for, I don't know, a few hours before I dumped out the extra. And I think that made the difference. I, I think usually I'm a little bit premature, shall we say, on uh, tipping the tipping it upside down. Uh, I need to paint the gear shift knob black first before I put that together. So at this point, I have to do the radiator shroud, the radiator and radiator shroud, and the firewall need to go into position. So. So that is step 13 completed. There's some more things I want to do to. Oh, I just remembered something. I should turn off this light. Sometimes the fluorescent bulb in that starts cycling, causing problems with the light meter on the camera. Um, what was I going to say? Step 13. You can see I blacked the grills. Next step is going to be putting the interior in. Oh, I, uh, I've been using bare metal more and more. This is not bare metal around the windows. That's uh, I forget the name of the company. It's a chrome pen, uh, felt tip pen, that does really, really nice chrome, I think. That is what I've done so far. I think I will probably, I will probably do bare metal over the wheel wells, wheel arches, and, um, yeah, brain cramp. on the side sills. And right now I'm going to put that aside. Windows. I set them on step 13, so I'm now move to step 14 out of 16. Cool.
Yep, that looks pretty good. All right. I have some uh, micro scale, micro crystal clear that I use for my windows. Let me see right there. This is. So if I leave it upside down like that, it should work its way down in to the cracks and crevices in between. Just a quick update, uh, I just wanted to show it's a couple hours later. This is the Staples clear glue I was talking about earlier. And I did use it to glue in the side windows, right there, um, both sides. And you can see that the micro crystal clear, though it's about two or three hours later, and it still hasn't dried uh, completely. The sides are dry, but the thick stuff hasn't. So just wanted to let you know, um, I'm about ready to button it up here. The interior's ready to go. I haven't put the air cleaners on, but you can see, of the air filters. Uh, but you can see that uh, I did wire up the engine. So the ignition is ready to roll. And I think that's it. Put the interior in. Attach the chassis. Boo. Yeah. Well, here we are. The Golden Goat is finally completed. very unsteady hand so I'm trying to use support whenever possible uh, there's the engine I wired it and uh, did some of the plumbing yes no I didn't do the plumbing on this one but anyways I did the ignition wires there we go so this is my latest addition to my completed GTOs. Uh, the only, I think the only year GTO I don't have now completed is 67 and I have two 67 models in my stash. So someday I'll get to work on the 67. Oh, something else that I had trouble with on this one. Um, I was trying to, I usually like to put, um, uh, pledge on my models as a final finish and I was going to put pledge on this I had to do a little polishing because 
the roof got a little speckly uh, when I was clamping it down on the on the workbench so that I could install the the um, interior pan it got some speckling on the roof so I tried to polish that out with some um, rubbing compound and I also had a hair back here I don't know if you remember that from earlier in the video there was a hair back here again polished them out with some rubbing compound and tried to put pledge on and the pledge just beat it up so I presume it was something in the pol in the rubbing compound so this does not have pledge on it it does have a really heavy coat of testers gloss coat and uh, I'm pleased with it this model has been just too long in the making I'm not going to mess with it anymore I'm not going to try to um, put anything else on the finish it's just a I'm lot done. of the cars I do I'm not always after what my favorite color is I'm after what is popular what was popular what was a signature color of the era and I think the 60s and 70s were um, or later 60s and 70s gold was very very popular and um, not with me that's all so thank you for look for watching and uh, if you like this video please give a thumbs up subscribe take a look at some of my other modeling videos too um, I don't have many subscribers, but hey, I'm trying to fulfill some things that uh, aren't out there on YouTube, and I hope you appreciate that. Thanks.